So starting with step one, we want to assess whether the rhythm is regular or irregular. We determine this by measuring the spacing between our consecutive R waves. I always recommend using calipers for precision, but a simple alternative method is you can also use an index card. So what you want to do is you want to mark the distance between two R waves when you're measuring on your six second strip. As you're measuring down your strip, we call this marching out. These little marks should always fall in the exact same place every single time with each R wave. If that distance does match, it indicates that we have a regular rhythm. If the distance varies, that means that the rhythm is going to be called irregular. So as you can see here on our six second strip, if I was to measure all of these R waves, Using that little method, it should come out the same every single time. We call this marching out. And we would name this a regular rhythm because the spacing in between these R waves are always going to fall uniformly. However, if we were to look at a rhythm like this, this is an irregular rhythm. Because if I was to march out and measure in between all of these R waves, they're not gonna fall the same every single time as you can see on your screen. Some are shorter, some are longer. They're just not gonna be uniform. So we would call this an irregular rhythm. 